With all the changes revealed on the latest death stream, some of you might be wondering what else is going on. Yes, all those things are great and all, but what else? What else can we have and see in the game? So what I'm here to do right now at this moment is to share my thoughts and what I think about the latest hints and direction from the studio. All right, in case you don't see it already, one of the hints they dropped on the death stream is about the ways to beat and activate the missions for the giant spider on Venus, which of course a lot of us know at this point is the orb mother. The devs mentioned that you will have to go into these amazing locations for something, and I'm sure that is what it is. And since these places are mostly research labs, you can bet yourself that is exactly what you're going to be doing. No doubt the big spiders are going to be the talk of Venus when the update arrives and everyone will be racing to take down their very own spider. Now one thing I also noticed within the Warframe roadmap and development is the introduction of the next big raid. I've been talking about this for a while and some of you probably think I'm crazy. Now I know it might be a long shot for some of you but here is why. Like I've said previously, one of the quotes from the devs is that you will have to infiltrate some of this corpus research facilities when the Fortuna update drops. With Planes of Eidolon, we found ways to activate the Eidolon battles, and I'm sure we will do the same here with the Warframes. Now here is what might be a little clouded. When DE removed the raids from Warframe, they said that they did it because it was too problematic, buggy, and they specifically say that they want to build it from the ground up. Now one of the biggest problems with raid in Warframe is that there weren't enough in-game content to give players a prelude to all the raid activities. With JV, it was puzzles upon puzzles upon puzzles. But you know what is also so difficult than puzzles? Well, it is the fact that the entire raid seems to get bugged from time to time. And this means all the mods and the items you've acquired are gone for good because if you get bugged halfway through, you cannot progress, you cannot get to the end, and that is basically it. I also believe that DE had to build separate locations with mechanics not utilized or accessible to everyone in the old raid system. This means that the raids are literally almost an entire entity apart from the game. And whatever changes you make to the main game, you have to go into the raid individually to make those changes to those assets. So for this reason, code errors seem to occur on every single update. And and with every update, the bugs become bigger and becomes unfixable. The devs themselves say that every time they fix the bugs, 10 more comes out of nowhere. So this is basically confirming why they removed the raid to begin with. Where I see DE going in terms of raid in the future this time is that they will be doing raids and incorporating it with their open world assets. Since they shut down the raid system, the only thing that can be identified as DE building something from the ground up is the open worlds on Earth and areas on Venus. Now as they have confirmed, Fortuna is several times bigger than the Plains of Adlon, so this means that the tile sets has more potential for bigger activities. With Fortuna, you can start new bounties and events at different locations around the world without having to go back to the base, which is one of the greatest things I've always expected from the open world segment. So this also means that players can group up and access missions easily. And this world, as I said earlier, has enough assets to build levels for different encounters if you are building for raid. So what the release of Venus will do, in my own opinion, is that it will give veterans a new lasting content to enjoy. It also give new players something that will not isolate them from the main game encounters. As a lot of us already know, Warframe is one of those few games out there with the largest amount of players when it comes to a raid encounter. Before it was shut down, the raids were 8 players, and if you compare that to games like Destiny, Destiny's raid is only 6 players, so I see the potential in the future of raids in Warframe. Well, that will be my take, my opinion on some of the information shared on the dev stream. If you would like to, I will leave the link to the full 1 hour stream in the description below so you can check some of these items out yourself. But other than that, let me know what you think about this. Do you see things the way I see it? And also, what do you think about the future? of raids in Warframe. Anyways, thanks for watching this video, hope you enjoyed and feel free to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more Warframe videos on this channel. But as always, it is DS signing out, I'll see you guys in the next one.